Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Music of the Week. I have bugger all to do in terms of self-promotion, except for thanks to everyone watched PBW vs. AVW last week, and the Fight of the Night review, and other shit and other stuff in between. Um, yeah, got five albums to do, let's do the five albums. We begin with a band I quite like, Avatar, with their newest album, Dance Devil Dance, and uh... Yeah, I think it's a fairly easy A. I really fucking love Avatar. They're one of my favourite avant-garde black metal bands, especially from Sweden, who do that shit quite a lot. But no one does it as uniquely as Avatar do. In fact, this is one of their more bizarre and experimental and risky albums. But they're able to just really tie it together with their charisma, their showmanship, their really good sense of songwriting. There's more depth to them than you'd believe, and you might just think, ah, goofy man, face paint, do sing. But no, Johannes Ekström is a really good vocalist, the entire band is really great, there's from fantastic guitar work as you would expect from them. It's also just produced really well and structured quite nicely as well there. Again, the weirder moments could possibly put someone off, not me. I quite enjoyed it. Um, so if you just want some really nice, fun... Uh, unfiltered weird metal. I recommend giving this one a spin, especially because of the production being so great and very, very clean, and just how much shit they're able to get away with. And I really look forward to seeing how they push the boundaries next time because these are about to still have a lot of the tanks. So, yeah, definitely a huge recommend for me. Next, we have Black Star Riders with their newest album, Wrong Side of Paradise. Now, I was putting this one off um, because this is the only album in this video that came out in January. Um, but I was putting off because there was another album that was supposed to come out this past weekend, which was Project 86's Omni Part 1. But that got shelved to next month, so I had to bring this one forward. Very classic Rocky in terms of its sound. I'm giving it a B, which is the lowest grade of this episode, so you know this is going to be a good one. I thought it was really good, Rock, you know? I mean, this is a band that formed from the ashes of Thin Lizzy, who everyone only knows one song by. But true to the classic rock form, there's some really well put together riffs, I like the guitar solo work, I wish there was more of it. Production's quite nice and clean too, the performances are really great for a band that's been around for as long as they have. I mean the lead singer's pushing 60, and he still sounds fantastic as well, I'll put his name up here in text form because I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I quite like the production, very very clean, doesn't really like gloss over too many blemishes because this is an older band, well, a new band formed from older remnants but no yeah, they still sound really good there's nothing that's really trying to hide the band's age at all which i do appreciate i like the lyrical content more than anything i think on this album there's more of a focus on like political stuff and environmentalism and some mental health issues um reined in occasionally with songs of love and things like that it's done actually surprisingly well uh okay maybe not so much with the mental health stuff i don't think that's as much of a thing it is more of a political album now that i think about it i'm think i'm getting mixed up with a later album but yeah, no, this is still some pretty good stuff, so I recommend checking it out. It's also got a really well put together pace, not overly long, it just about manages to fill its time with some really good pacing changes on t at times too, so yeah. Next up, we have a new metalcore debut, Graphic Nature, with their first album, A Mind Waiting to Die. Now, this is a band I was looking forward to dropping something, because they I know they dropped an EP back in 2022. But I only found that out when I was when I found out this album was coming out. Uh, but yeah, I heard about this band through YouTube ads and became immensely excited when they I found out that they were dropping an album. And this one gets an A minus. I thought this was some absolutely phenomenal work from a debuting band. I think my main issue is that a lot of the first half of the album feels a little bit short in terms of structuring, but like the instrumental work is heavy and hard, and it obviously has a main theme of mental health and deterioration and insanity, and it's done really well and mixed in with some really nice metaphorical storytelling too. Instrument instrumentation wise, it does remind me a little bit of Tyler, but these are about with their own identity, do not get me wrong. God, imagine a crossover between Graphic Nature and Tyler, that'd be kind of cool. Um, I like the um, pacing as well for the most part. Again, even though it is short at first, it still manages to swing a lot in. Production's really nice too, very dense and thick at the right places. The performances are great as well, especially the lead singer. And the drummer too, just really good work from a very new band. I'm looking forward to what they put out next because this is their first album and it's just really good business. So yeah, definitely worth a check out. Next we go from a new metalcore debut from London to a new metalcore debut from Germany, specifically Hamburg. I know I don't do locations, but I thought it'd be good for that segue, which totally didn't land. We have Half Me with their debut album, Soma. Now this is not a band I know as much about. I hadn't really heard of these beforehand, like Out of Graphic Nature. <clears throat> this is just something I slapped on, very sort of a last minute thing. But I quite liked it. I'm giving it a B plus. I thought it had some really strong elements going for it. Much like with Graphic Nature's album, I'm going to be comparing these two a lot, by the way. I love the first answer of it is strong, and I would say that there's a couple more pacing issues with Half Me's album. However, it does stick the landing a lot better than Graphic Nature does. And there's some really nice storytelling. There's more of a conceptualized sort of vibe to it as well, with like maybe a theme of uh, like broken love. 
causing things to fall apart really badly for the protagonist, if you wish. Um, there's not as much of a connecting thread, but that's what I got from reading through the lyrics, which are surprisingly easy to find, and I always appreciate it when a, a debuting band puts their lyrics on their Bandcamp page, so that really helped me. Uh, yeah, instrumentation was super heavy, really nice riffs, more of a deathcore vibe compared to graphic nature, but still, you know, also has more melody to it as well. Um, I like the lyricism, which I've gone over, the performances are great too. Um, yeah, pacing-wise, again, at the start, a little bit iffy, but it gets better as it goes along. And production's really nice as well. It kept a bit clean, um, but, like, it feels very organic in a lot of its delivery. And it doesn't over-mix anything either. And it lets all of the album breathe free. So, yeah, if you want another just really good bit of Metalcore debut, check out this and Graphic Nature's album, too. Both really good. Next, we get to Those Damn Crows with their third album. <sighs> Nail. Exhale. Well, it's just inhale slash exhale. I'm giving this an A plus though. <laughs> um, it did take me a while to actually get around to being able to fully listen to it, but when I did, I kept going back over it, trying to find problems, and I actually couldn't. It's just some amazing, amazing hard rock stuff. Um, I really loved how the instrumentation was put together. Really solid riffs. Great bass grooves as well. I like it when you can hear bass in rock music. Um, some solid drumming as well. Really good guitar solos. Um, the lyricism with themes of mental health, of overcoming uh, depression, of overcoming the past, like bad things that happened in the past, um, like bad love and some political stuff, but not as much, you know? So this is the album I was alluding to when I said more of the mental health thing. It's done in much more positive light. That isn't just a bunch of empty platitudes, and I really like how they... Uh, managed to sell it as well with the band's natural charisma and their ability to tell a story and perform it really well. The band are just fucking great on this one. All of them show up a lot of energy and a lot of just really good chops all around. Production-wise, it's also fantastic. And again, much like... Um, this is the second album in this video, by the way, that was put out on Earache Records. The first was Black Star Riders' album, so... Yeah, no, Earache are becoming a really, really good label these days, and, I mean, they always have been, but yeah, this is another reason why they're so revered these days. This is just some really good hard rock, and whoever they got to produce this one did a fucking great job. Uh, Structure-wise as well, it fills the length wonderfully, and it doesn't waste any of its moments, which is a problem that Black Star Riders album did have for me. Um, yeah, this one, when it f sees the opportunity, it goes in for it, and it never feels too short or too stale. It mixes up the pacing in enough fun ways, and it keeps a very serious tone, but a very slightly optimistic one. So, yeah, I, I just really, really like this one. So, again, definitely worth going to listen to. And that will about do it. Another five albums just about to stumble through. The next thing I will see you for will be tomorrow night, the Go Home Show for PBW vs. AVW, and then possibly Saturday night... I might either start my next Let's Play, or put up the old Let's Play, because Shadow Warrior has been finished recording, I just need to finish editing it, which won't take me long, I've only got like one more chunk of footage to do, so that should be another three parts, maybe, and then it'll be all over. It is now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you all likely for that, and uh, oh, my rankings for this video, not like it matters, because no one watches these. <laughs> um, so, from least favourite to most favourite, I'm going to go for Black Star Riders with Wrong Side of Paradise, Half Me with Soma, Graphic Nature with A Mind Waiting to Die, Avatar with Dance Devil Dance, and Those Damn Crows with Inhale Exhale. But as always, you should listen to all these albums at least once, they're all great in their own ways, and even the worst albums have some really, really good moments to them. Luckily, this is just a really fucking good weekend of music with some bands I was expecting to drop bangers, and some really solid debuts, so yeah, definitely go and listen to all these. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow night on my Twitch stream. For PBW vs. AVW, the Go Home Show for Break Even Live from Prague, Czech Republic. But really, I'll just be sat here in my room in England. So, I will see you all for that. As always, thank you for watching. You're awesome. Bye bye.